Hi, Hannah uh, from Hannah Ekman Relocations here today and I'm just in Landsborough for the morning so I thought I'd stop and do a quick suburb snapshot for you. Um, Landsborough is uh, a little town just off Steve Irwin Way and it rests at the bottom of the Blackhall Range so it's between Beerwa and Palm View and then you go up the hill um, and it's sort of it's the gateway to the rest of the Sunshine Coast hinterland really. You've got Mullaney and Montville and Witta um, all up the road. Um, so it's a, it's a sleepy little town, um, if you think old style Queenslanders and full nose verandas and shops with oldie styled awnings. Um, there's a little town hall uh, where sort of they have local markets and there's a museum which has sort of the history of the town all laid out in it. Um, but whenever I've been here, whenever, even at the weekends, it's never been busy. You can always get parked. It's always quite sleepy and quiet, um, which, is, which is just nice. It's a small country town, but within reach of the rest of the coast. Um, so geographically, it's 82 k's from Brisbane and it's on the train line. Um, so you can get the train directly from Brisbane Central all the way to Landsborough, but um, the train unfortunately doesn't really solve the problem of a fast commute into Brisbane Centre. You're still looking at about an hour and a half, um, hour and 20 fastest um, to get in, in or out either way. And because uh, it, has a, it makes a lot of rural stops on the way down, it can take a lot longer um, if it's a full service train. Um, there's a sort of an issue with the trains to the from Brisbane to the Sunshine Coast as well in that when they were built they weren't really built with the sort of capacity in mind that we now have and certainly not the sort of capacity we're going to need going into the future. Um, the, the rails themselves don't allow the trains to travel very fast and they also share them with the freight trains which service uh, central and northern Queensland which means that uh, some of the time um, the trains just can't cover the capacity of commuters so people are bussed in and out using uh, buses connected to the rail line which takes even longer than the train and, and certainly longer than it would if you just got in your car and did it yourself. Um, obviously you don't have the problem of parking at the other end which is expensive in Brisbane if you're commuting in and out with the train um, but it certainly doesn't doesn't make for a, a much easier commute, even if you're living in Landsborough right next to the station. Um, having said that, it's one of the stops that people do use when they're commuting. They'll park in Landsborough, and um, there is limited parking at the train station. But it seems, yeah, it doesn't seem ever to get so crazy that you can't get anywhere near it. Um, and people do commute in and out. Um, uh, and you do need a Translate card to travel on the rail um, to and from uh, Brisbane and so do the kids but at the weekend if your kids do have a travel pass they've just recently announced that children are going to be free to travel at weekend so that does sort of change things if you're going as a family you know into a, an exhibition or something in Brisbane it changes it up. Um, so that's the trains. Um, schools. So, We've got, there's a cute little kindy, there's Landsborough Community Kindergarten, um, which is Queensland approved kindy. Uh, you're in the catchment for Landsborough State School, which is a small school, so you're thinking small country schools. Um, this could definitely be a go for you. It's 330 students there, so it's just little. Um, uh, from year seven and up, you're in the catchment for Beerwa State High School. Now that's got an enormous catchment area geographically. Um, it sort of gathers in all the kids from uh, around the Glasshouse um, area. So from Beerwa, Landsborough, the Glasshouse Mountains, Peachester and Beerborum. And um, the, the kids are bussed in and out to school on one of the local buses. Um, real estate, you're looking 425k median to buy or 420 a week and that's three to four bedroom uh, house. You'd, you'd get more space for your money down here certainly and it's definitely cheaper than other parts of the, of the coast uh, which are on the water. Um, those are the current values from realestate.com at time of recording. And in terms of anything else about Landsborough to speak of, um, you're close to quite a few actual attractions that people travel to from the rest of the coast so you're very close to your six k's from australia zoo always always worth a visit and definitely worth a family pass um, if you're living here um, then you're you're just down from the big cart track which is good for birthdays special occasions and you're just down from the ewan maddock dam as well so 
Um, they've got a, a BMX track there and you can get out in the water and then there's a mountain bike track. You can sort of go and make a whole day of it really, whatever you're into. Um, in Landsborough itself, it's sort of a, a little wee tea room kind of place, lots of dinky dinky tea rooms. Not a whole heap of shops, enough to enough to keep you going if you're living here, a medical centre and baker and um, you know, a, a, a chemist, sort of the basics. If you want more, you probably have to go to beer where, where the, there's a big coals. Um, and just where I am right now, actually, where I parked up for my cup of tea, cheers, um, is one of the sweetest parks on the Sunshine Coast. It's um, Sensory Park, and it's just lovely. There's, there's um, herb gardens everywhere, there's sand pit, there's, there's all sorts of climbing equipment, and there's always families down here doing birthdays for the little ones. Um, it's always a favorite in our house if we've been up the range for whatever reason. We often stop here and let the kids out for a, a climb and a run on the way home. Um, so, so that's nice. And yeah, so that's Landsborough. Um, if you're looking for a small country town, as close as you're gonna get really to getting in and out of Brisbane, but still accessible to the coast, took me about 20 minutes to get here, 15 to 20 minutes from um, the beach at Cloundra. Um, definitely one to think of. Okay, cheers.